Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Working in IT, there's so many new things all the time. Sometimes things just get past you. But lately when I saw this headline about Windows Terminal and its retro look, I figured I better dive in. Let's check it out. So Windows Terminal is available in the Microsoft Store. It also has a GitHub site. Let's check out the system requirements here. So while I was reading up on Windows Terminal, I stumbled across this WSL. What is that? Windows as a second language? Well, in a sense it is. It's basically a containerized Linux operating system that you can run on Windows 10 and you can use Windows Terminal to access it. We'll have to make a video about this in the future. So we get Windows Terminal installed well enough, but you see we get an error when launching PowerShell. We also get an error when we try to launch uh, the command prompt within Windows Terminal, but we can open Azure Shell for some reason. So let's see if we can figure this out. I try launching Windows Terminal as administrator, but you can see that doesn't fix it. Since Windows Terminal is in preview, any search you might do for the specific error seems to return a much more generic result than something specific to Windows Terminal. So we're going to keep plugging along here. So as a test, I go on and open PowerShell as administrator and an open command prompt as administrator. They both work fine directly. So while I'm poking around the GitHub site for Windows Terminal, I learn about how to open the settings and view the profiles JSON file. This is where you can modify the profiles for each of the windows that you're going to open the windows terminal and then there's also the defaults json which contains a great deal of information but it's not modifiable it does show you hotkey combinations etc so apparently after clicking into powershell and command and opening the profiles json and default json now it works Windows Terminal launches PowerShell and Command Prompt successfully. Go figure. So you can bet that I'll be checking out Windows Terminal both at home and in the workplace. I hope you get to try it out for yourself. Check for the links to the articles in the description below. And thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.